Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching the Electric Performance Channel, The Road to Pikes Peak, where we're talking to Blake Fuller, our race car driver, who's going to get us up Pikes Peak at the end of August. And this is super exciting. And we've got some questions from viewers that came in. Uh, and so Blake, the first question we got here is, do you feel more confident going up Pikes Peak in the Model 3 Performance than you did going up in the Model S? Each of the cars have their own personalities. And um, I think for different people, certain aspects of a car will inspire confidence. Uh, I think from the playful nature, uh, and that's the best way to describe it, I think the Model 3 has more of a playful nature. It's, um, it's a more eager puppy. <laughs> it's ready to play. Um, the Model S is much more relaxed. Uh, it has slower steering ratio. So like just, just thinking about that. So the number of turns lock to lock, meaning a full right turn to a full left, takes almost three full rotations in the Model S, which means that when you're turning the car, you're doing a lot of roping of the wheel and you're guiding it in. And that kind of feels like, oh, I'm really doing more work here. Whereas with the Model 3, it's a two turn lock to lock. And I can't even explain to you guys how much I used to geek out about cars when I was 16 to 18. I could tell you like every single like steering ratio of all the cars because I wanted something that was like a Lotus. Like the Lotuses were between 1.8 to 2.3 turns lock to lock. And that was magic, right? And so, and, and even the original Roadster, I think is somewhere around two or 2.1. So, and I think that the new Roadster, you'll notice the steering wheel is just handles, right? So I think that gives us a clue of where Elon's gonna go with the Roadster, that that may be 1.5 turns lock to lock or 1.2. From a confidence standpoint, um, people love go-karts and they're fun. And the Model 3 feels like that because of the steering ratio. So that's, I think from a confidence standpoint, that's just one aspect that the Model 3 inspires confidence that you can turn quickly to correct something, but it also really inspires you to, you know, if you look at some of the onboard footage from Sebring, you'll see that it almost looks like I'm more relaxed in the Model 3. You know, I haven't moved my hands much and I'm getting it done. That was like the last thing I thought you would ever talk about would be the steering wheel. <laughs> Out of all the things, I was thinking like motors, I was thinking about like cooling um, or suspension, but you're like steering wheel. That's so neat. Uh, and I mean, it is something that I noticed when I first started driving my car. You're just like, this is a fun car. Yeah, you're not just like, I'm driving my car today. You're like, here we go around the curves, right? You just, it's it's much more responsive in that in that way. Yeah, and I think the Model 3 to me is a car that, um, makes you kind of want to take the long way home. <laughs> and, yeah. and after I went with Kyle from Out of Spec Motoring and we went and uh, did uh, the Tale of the Dragon, I drove back that night by myself up through some of the winding roads of North Carolina. And I'm telling you, it was like a other world experience of how epically great that car is. And that's, that's when it really comes to the four way of, and I think that that's the big thing is the, the steering feel and feedback in the Model 3 is leaps and bounds above the Model S. It's a different clientele, right? Um, the Model S is meant to kind of isolate and cushion you a little bit more. But that Model 3 is something where if you've never seen a road before, you feel confident pushing it because you, you feel like you have control over it. It's got a shorter leash, so to speak. <laughs> you've got it under control. Wait. Now, on Teslas, you can affect the steering. Uh, there's different settings. There's like, I think, I think sport, it's sport, comfort, comfort regular. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that, of course, as a race car driver, you're going to choose the sportiest one. But what, what is actually happening when you're moving that slider? Like, what, what is, is it changing the, the, uh, uh, the turn to turn ratio you were talking about? Or what is it doing? So in, in the Model 3, and, and you, um, you had an assumption there, which is not always true. Um, there is their kind of comfort, normal, and sport. And what it's doing in each of those step ups is it's reducing the amount of electronic assist that the power steering rack is giving you. So it's, it's making you use your mechanical muscles <laughs> versus the electronic motor that would normally be driving that rack to and from. Um, it does not, to my knowledge, and I, I could stand corrected, but I don't believe it, it has a variable ratio steering rack on it. Some cars do, um, and some have been used with success, others haven't, but I think Tesla's found a nice sweet spot with the Model 3. Um, it also has a really good weight to the steering, uh, and some of that's based on the amount of caster the car has, which we're not going to get into that long discussion, but that caster is, is pretty high on the car, which helps it straight line really well. And it also allows the car to be more stable for autopilot. And if we want to talk about the challenges between designing a car that people love to drive and something that is able to drive itself safely, 
I think the Model 3 is an area where when people go, hey, how far behind is everybody else? I think that compromise, that engineering compromise, they are three to five years ahead of other people to deliver something that's fun to drive that still can drive itself safely. I mean, it's, it, wow. it's an incredible amount of design engineering in that front suspension, and, and they, the engineers get huge credit for that. So, I mean, part of your confidence in the car has got to be the time spent in the car and what you do with the car. How long does it typically take, and you know, what do you typically have to do with the car before you really start to feel like you know it and that you're confident in it? Are you at that point yet with, with the Model 3 race car? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, there's, there's always unique circumstances that can happen with vehicles that can erode confidence, but there is no replacement for track time. There's no replacement for even sometimes just driving a car to the track or driving it on the street in different settings um, because it makes you feel comfortable with where every, everything is. And I think the Model 3 was something when I first got it, actually, it took me a little while just to get adjusted to the new interface um, on the road, meaning from a, a racing standpoint, some of that we would not necessarily be adjusting. But just the fact that certain climate controls, certain switch gear, certain types of things were so different than the Model S that I had been kind of cultured to um, going to the Model 3, it, it took me a little while to go, okay, this feels like home, right? So that, that was step number one. Step number two is getting comfortable enough that the track mode can be something that I can adjust while I'm on the track, right? <laughs> please don't change that in an update if anybody's watching. <laughs> we want to be able to adjust that. As a matter of fact, I would like to have more steering wheel controls if they're going to do an update. I would love to have the right button, be able to control my regen, and I can up down for my fore aft. So, hey, you guys can do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you answered the question, though. Uh, oh, I guess more, I, I'm sorry. I was running for office there. I didn't answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three or S, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> is that what, what, three or S? Which is, is the what the uh, more confident? Well, yeah, which one are you more? Are you are you feeling more confident in the Model Three or in the in your? The uh, an, the answer is the Model Three gets the confidence vote um, as well as the fun vote. Wow. wow, even with less time in it, that tells you a lot. That's interesting. Well, that was a great community question. Thanks so much for answering it, Blake. We'll see you next week on Electric Performance Channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like so you can follow this whole series from the road to Pikes Peak as we're going to go conquer the mountain on August 30th. Thanks so much for watching. Now, now you, you know. know. Thanks for watching Electric Performance. Please subscribe, share, and hit the like button.